Hey everyone, this is Ambi. Uh, today I want to talk about how I usually try, like to manage uh, Python secrets. Uh, there are many ways where people manage their Django project secrets. Um, they like to install, they like to have a JSON file created here, next to manage.py, or an INI file created there, put their um, secrets, or passwords, credentials, whatever that you have there in it then install a parser, like INI parser or JSON parser, then parse those values here, right? Uh, when you create a Django project, you have a secret key. So you don't want to expose that. Uh, let's say you have a, a team of 100 developers um, and 99 of them are developers and only one, let's say you are the CDO and only you want to have this key. For the rest of them, you might want to have uh, have you know set a different key so what happens is if you rely on those file json ini or some another package is there env which sets uh, like a os environment variable and even if you try to set os environment variable well, then that means that uh, it will only work on their particular operating system if they reinstall the operating system who you know whoever is your other developer one of 100 developers then they have to set these os environments again and uh, OS environments is kind of a uh, cranky because uh, then you have uh, an option. Okay, do I have to, uh, if multiple people are using that OS, then do I have to set it up for all the users or only one user? Um, so instead of like going through that, um, go the pure Pythonic way of doing it. There is a pure Pythonic way of doing it. Very simple. Unless and until uh, there is uh, something lacking in it or you are looking for something uh, specific. I don't think that there is anything which you can't do with the, uh, with the method which I, with the method which I usually use uh, that you can uh, do with something, some other packages. So without further ado, let's go ahead and create a file here. Uh, I am going to create config.py. Just create it next to manage.py. Uh, make them uh, good neighbors, right? So what I will do here is first I will put a print here and say secret underscore key, right? So whenever we run, this is the ID terminal what I have. So whenever we run python manage.py run server, it goes through the entire settings.py and other files to verify some of the details whether they're properly there or not. Uh, it does kind of a background check. And during that, I have added a print function to print this key, right? So it printed this key, uh, as you can see here, twice because it goes through the file twice. Now, what I will do is control C here, clear the screen, so clear. Okay, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put a comment here, just a comment, right? That means secret key is no more. Uh, let's try to run it. Python manage.py run server. It complains, okay, name secret key is not defined. So now what I will do here is I will take this, I will go here, paste it here like this, and I'll say from config import star save. Now let's run this again. As you can see, it's printing the secret key, right? So let's uh, press control. So usually you don't want to do it like this, but <laughs> uh, obviously you want to do something like this, right? Secret key equals secret key. So now what's have, uh, now as you can see, none of your secrets, passwords or whatever that you have, uh, you can put all of them here and you can export them. Then what you can do is you can create a dot git ignore file inside 
and uh, here or uh, what I would like to do is I would like to create here usually dot git a g n o r e git ignore and I would like to add config dot py so wherever config dot py it will neglect that file just make sure you uh, you don't have to name it as config.py, you can name it anything that you want, but just make sure this name is unique. Uh, and these, this name is not going to be used anywhere else. Otherwise, since you have added here, it will be ignored and it will not be added to Git. Um, and also, I would like to add this folder, the environment variable here on, I mean, the, uh, the virtual environment. Yeah, they don't need that. So what you can instead do here is to ls... I will do cd.ls, sorry, ls, here you want to create pip freeze requirements.txt. So what it will do, it will go ahead and create requirements.txt which will list all the things that are needed to run this particular project in this project whatever that you have installed. That list so they can uh, that your other developers even though you don't have this uh, uh, particular folder uh, for them synced this particular file is not there um, you know you can tell them okay so config.py is this where uh, you can probably send this offline config.py another one a dummy one uh, where without these values where they don't have these values they can define their own okay so this is how we uh, might want to differentiate uh, you might want to uh, have a separate dev server one um, production server right uh, so you can have separate username password secrets for dev server separate username passwords and secrets for production server and maybe a separate setup password secrets for uh, developers on their local desktop so in this way everything will be a bit more secure without also you having to uh, rely on any other package or parser less dependency less headache thank you for tuning in have a great one